Our next guest has been called a real life musical Wonder Woman. That we were here. Now, singer-songwriter Light is expanding her repertoire with her first art exhibit, Finding Your Power, Skin and Earth, is a collection of Light's favorite images from her album and comic book series of the same name. Here to tell us more is Light. Welcome to your morning. I'm excited to be here for the first time. So let's start with Skin and Earth. This is your fourth album, but it's your first conceptual album, meaning that you came at it from the approach of a different character. This is Anaya from Your Imagination. What can she do and put into the songwriting that Lights hasn't put in? She, she's, I always say she's sort of like a, a, a version of myself. I put a lot of my personality into her. Mm -hmm. And as a result, I was able to kind of channel through her for these, for songs that I never really felt I could write. Really? You know, like angry songs, this is an angry, like angry songs on the record. and. You know, um, just topics that maybe I, I didn't feel free to, to write about as lights. So I was able to just kind of shun all of those ideas through her when I'd be in a writing session with like, a perfect stranger and you, you have to kind of like pick apart your brain and self psychoanalyze every time you write a song. And it's very like overwhelming to do that kind of thing. And did you find when you were in the songwriting process, you're like, no, that's too light. I've got to go more Anaya. Well, I mean, I guess subconsciously, yeah, but it was more like this is sort of the layout of the story. So the layout of the story came first and then I divided it in 12 parts and wrote songs for each of those parts. Right. And it was this really cool thing because it really directed where these songs were going to go, how they were going to feel. This is a part of the story where um, she's broken, you know what I mean? That's, so it needs to feel like this. And so it was actually this really great um, opportunity to just like follow what I visualized in my head as opposed to spending five hours at the beginning of a session trying to figure out what you want to say or how oh, it's going to sound. Very you know? freeing. It was super freeing and, and, and it opened the floodgates for me for creativity and now I'm like endlessly creating it. Actually created sort of a little insomnia for me because <laughs> I was up all night coming up with ideas for the whole process. But uh, And tell us about the name Anaya. Where does it come from for people who aren't as familiar with the character? Her name is Anaya Jin, short formed as N. And I spent a lot of time trying to come up with a name that was right. Um, N is sort of a play on my middle name, Anne. Mm -hmm. But uh, I also liked the idea that short form, her name is Engine, and then people tease her about sounding like an engine. So it's like, you can work these things in the story, Love just it. have fun with it. There's a very, and we should tell people, this: the character in the comic series that you did, the graphic series that you did, which we'll talk about in a second, this is all your drawings. Yeah. So I thought maybe you had created the character in the story, but you've actually done all of the artwork. And yeah. it's beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it was a labor of love. It took um, a little over a year to draw everything. And it's six issues, uh, 170 pages. Uh, and I had to really teach myself how to do it all. I've drawn almost as long as I've done music, but never really was able to take it to the next level. So yeah, YouTube and tutorials and reaching out to friends and reading books and just learning how to do it all. You are like on a creativity high right now. I am. <laughs> That's exciting. On top of all of that, you're a young mom. You've got a four-year-old daughter. Yeah. And I have to say, you and your husband have hit it out of the park with the names. So your <laughs> husband is Beau. You've got a daughter, Rocket Wild. Yeah. How can you help be anything but a cool family? <laughs> Look at you guys, rock star family. Oh, man. Well, it's easy. She's a cool kid. I mean, she's in martial arts now. Oh, yeah, that one. She was. She came on stage for her birthday, actually. We were on tour. And uh, I, I, thought, I put her down, and I thought she was going to try to run away. And I let her go, and she just started dancing on stage uh, in front of everyone. And it was just a very cute moment. <laughs> She's a good She kid. must inspire your creativity a lot. Oh yeah, I mean, I, I think mostly just the, when I became a mother, um, my outlook changed and I took a lot of pressure off myself. Mm. And I think like applying pressure to yourself and expectations is like the antithesis of creativity. So when you actually free yourself and just do it for the fun of it, you have so much more fun. And I've sort of been that way ever since I've been a mother. You and your husband uh, are rock stars. You travel all the world, you jump on stage, you give it all. How do you, how do the two of you make it work? You know, give enough time to rock it, but also to yourselves and then also to your uh, drawing and to yeah. your music writing. It's, it's a challenge. I mean, as any parent mother knows, um, it's just kind of like a, it's a balancing act and it's just kind of rolling with it. I, I've learned to be more spontaneous than I ever have been. Change used to be really hard for me. Huh. But now I think you can't plan too far in advance. You just kind of have to run with it and, and try to, when you're present, be present. Let's talk about your exhibit. How exciting for you. Another first, your art going on display. How did you choose the images that you were going to feature? This is an interesting thing because, that, so our opening night was last night. It was like one of the craziest, coolest things of my life. It features 17 pieces. Um, from 170 pages from this comic. And actually, it's very hard for me to be objective with this 
with this work because I've spent so much time on it. So I actually let the, the team who put this whole show on pick these images that stood out to them and they were arranged in a way that wasn't in order. So when people were at the show, they were getting snippets of the story that means a lot to me. Mm -hmm. And when you, when you go to the show, you can see it. It's open today, tomorrow and Saturday. Um, uh, when you go, you're, you're going to snippets of a story that matter a lot, but you, it doesn't actually give away what happens in the story, which I really, which I really like. You got to tease them. Yeah, a little, a little bit. bit of teasing, a little right? bit of uh, the colors, and the colors I had a lot of fun with too. So it's so great to hear your music and to hear new music from you, and to see your new art project as well. And thanks for introducing us to the rest of your family. Of course. <laughs> Thank you guys for having me yeah, on here. Come back anytime. We should mention <laughs> for more about Lights Art Exhibit and upcoming performances, you'll find all that on our website, yourmorning.ca.